All right. Uh, we were we 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 were outplayed today. Hats off to Liberty for coming in here and and uh, being able to run the ball like they were and do what they did on the offensive side of the football. Um, we got to get back to the drawing board. I got to do a better job getting our defense tackling and uh, getting back to the way we were uh, tackling before this game. And uh, we've got a, an offense when you get in games like this and they're scoring as much as they are, you can't miss a possession. You can't have a punt or you, and you can't settle for field goals. You've got to go down and be able to score touchdowns. On the offensive side, we were unable to do that. And uh, again, I've got to do a better job with them. We had 43 plays as an offense. We're trying to run about 90 to 100 and something plays a game. We had 43 plays. They had 43 minutes of time of possession. We had 16. 16. We had three possessions in the first half, or two touchdowns. You know, so I mean, it's 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 very difficult when your defense is out there the whole time and can't get off the field off the field. Well, I mean, Donovan is one of the best receivers in our conference, so he's a very good player. We wanted to get him the ball uh, when we could, and, and it was good to get him back in, but I'd much rather have a victory. Offensively, you struggled to run the ball. You got 11 yards rushing overall. We only ran the ball 14 times. We weren't really – I mean, it wasn't – it got to a point where we didn't have any possessions, and we had to, we had to manufacture and move the ball try to move the ball, and so we had to do that by throwing it. Where there wasn't that, we, there was no effort to really run the ball because we got down and we had to fight back. And, you know, it, it was just, when you only run 43 plays, you know, our skill is, on, uh, is, is our deepest positions are in the, in the perimeter. So we try to get them the football. You know, we'd love to be able to run the ball, but you can't, you can't only have 14 rushes in a game. And you get, you know, you're getting in a position where you're down and you're trying to fight back. You know, so you're throwing the football. And so it, it wasn't the fact that we couldn't run the balls. We didn't have the opportunity to run the football. Do you feel like you've matched up athletically with uh, a Liberty or a Charlotte or uh, those type of Yes, I do. Things? Yes, I believe we'll match up with people in our conference, and we match up with those teams. I mean, I mean, there's no difference between the top teams in FCS and, you know, the team, some of the teams in FBS. I mean, it's just a matter of scholarships. But they're a good football team. We're a good football team. They played better than we did today. And uh, again, that's, that's my fault. I'll take responsibility for it. Coach, you talk about the uh, penalties as well, because you seem like you had a good drive going in the third quarter and you seem like to back up with about three straight penalties. Yeah, the, the very unopportune time to, you know, to have. I mean, we, we got an eight-point an eight game, and uh, we, all week long we were working on a, you know, a middle return with a, with a block with it, and we have it blocked. Had it, block, it had it drawn up perfectly and come around, and we over jump the ball. We go up rather than down to the foot, and the ball goes underneath the guy, and we run into him and get a 15-yard penalty when we're getting the ball back. You know, and that, that changes. You know, that changes everything. So, again, uh, obviously, I've got to do a better job in in getting guys doing exactly what we want done, and uh, continue to work with it. I don't know how much positive you can get out of losing this game. I mean, I look for the positives and everything. So we'll work to keep them going. You know, we've got resilient kids. They'll 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 bounce back and they'll come to play. I mean, our our kids don't quit. They won't they won't do that. They'll stick together. They're a good group. Good group of kids. We just got to be able to do the when the time comes and the pressure situation all for all three phases, offense, defense and special teams have to play together to to win the game and and Somehow we haven't figured out, I haven't figured out how to put it, all of them, all three phases playing great for all, all four quarters. I've got to see the film and see what, you know, were we, were we just missing tackles? Were guys in the wrong gaps? Was, you know what I mean? You, you, you've, got to, you've got to be able to make plays on the ball when they're in the air, and you've got to be able to, to tackle guys, and we weren't able to do that today. Well, but they were on the field uh, three quarters of the game 
Right. I mean, they were on the field for 43 minutes, and we were on the field for 16. 16 27, they were 43 33. It's too much. I mean, that offense ran 82 plays, we ran 43. They doubled us up in the number of plays. They doubled us up. So, you know, it, it's. You've got to be able to get off the field on third downs. You can't give up third and 15s and third and 10s and, you know, third and threes for, for first downs. You've got to find a way to get off the field. I don't even remember what – did they punt the ball? They punted the ball one time. I don't even remember the kid's number. He was out there so few times. Again, I, I, I have to do the better job. So I'll make sure that, that we work on everything and, and uh, you know, get these guys going for, for next week or – you know, we, we, it's a conference. We're 1 0 in the conference, so we've got to be able to come to play. Uh, given, a, given a loss like this, how long do you uh, go over the tape from this one, or is it just kind of the proverbial on to the next week? No, we'll go over the tape. There's a lot of teaching. There's a lot of, we're still teaching guys. They're still young guys. They, you know, they're not a, a very, uh, an older, experienced team, so there'll be a lot to learn from this game and uh, work on and, and get better because obviously, you know, other teams will see this and, and probably do a lot of the similar things. So we've got to work on everything. But we will watch the tape thoroughly in all phases. And that, that means every phase. Giving up is not an option for our football team. Our kids don't even think about ever giving up. So he, they'll never give up. It's just he always throws some good balls. He throw, his best balls are his deep balls. Uh, we all know that. So that, that's one of the reasons why we throw it deep all the time, you know, or a lot of the time. Uh, you know, I can't say enough about Nick. Nick. Nick goes out there and tries to lead and get guys going, you know, and does things. But uh, at some point we have to play together for four quarters in all three phases of the game. And you can't put it on one guy. You can't put it on Nick Arbuckle to carry the team. You can't put it on Donovan Harden to carry the team or, or Joe Peterson or whoever. You've got to be able to play together. And, and when you need a stop, get a stop. When you need a touchdown instead of a field goal, get a touchdown. Um, it wasn't a plan specifically to score on that one play. Um, it, was, it was a third down call. It wasn't even kind of really an idea to run early, but we got into a third down earlier than we would like to, so we called it up. And uh, Donovan did an amazing job. And, you know, we just picked up where we left off in the summer because, you know, he got his injury happened in fall camp, so I had him all summer, and we had the chemistry going. He's only been gone for a handful of weeks, and so we just picked up where we left off there. Um, you know, it's really hard to, uh, to lose any game because, you know, our goal is to win each individual week. Um, but when we started this season and going through all the offseason stuff, um, our ultimate goal at the end of the year was to win the conference. And it, it, it's really hard and difficult to lose a game like this. But in the end, it's really going to help us get to our ultimate goal because you learn so much more from a loss than you do from a win. And so we're going to have the opportunity to go back and, and watch film, learn from our mistakes and learn how to improve and get better. And... Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not good that we lost, but we're going to be better next week versus Appalachian State than we would have been um, if, I, if we won. And I, I, I believe that because we're really hard working in that way and we made mistakes that we're going to correct and we're going to be that much better next week. Um, and, w and when you win, you tend to sometimes overlook those things because you're focused on the outcome that happened. And uh, a lot of times you overlook the little things that you could have done better. And so you don't have that, much, that progress from week to week. So I expect to be a much better football team um, come next Saturday. How do those two establish a rhythm when your defense is allowing so many 34 pound conversions and you're on the bench for such a long period of time? Um, luckily, I, I didn't get, get too cold over there on the sideline. Um, and and I, I, I like watching our defense. 
Uh, I don't like watching them be on the field that much because I, I like to play too. But um, we were we did a really good job offensively, staying warm on the sidelines. The receivers did a good job, and you know gave us a lot of time to talk. Um, I got a lot of time to talk on the phone up to the the coaches up in the press box, and communicate with the receivers, um, and so we knew exactly when we got on the field what we were going to do and how we were going to score, when we were going to score, which is why you saw so many big plays. Um, and so I, I know our defense uh, is, a, is a really good defense. I know they're going to make um, the corrections that they made. I mean, I mean, you saw their performances earlier in the season. They, um, they did tremendous. And um, so I know coming next week against Appalachian State, they're going to they're gonna be a lot better. Our offense is going to um, do, what we, do what our goal is, and uh, that is to score in every series. And if we scored in every series, we would have won the game because we, we had the turnover earlier, earlier in the um, first quarter. So we should end up winning by a touchdown if we had done what we, uh, our offense's job. Uh, my ch there were times we should have had um, some much bigger plays. Um, the one that sticks out in my head the most um, was, and, and I was frustrated about it. Um, I mean, when the game was going, I forgot about it, but I, I got frustrated after the game. Was, all I thought about was that pass to, to Nike Height down the field earlier in the first half uh, when I was able to escape the pocket and I missed him by just a step. And, and you know, if we hit that play, um, you know, we end up throwing for well over 400 yards. Cause that's another like 60 yard touchdown, and um, and and we'd be probably winning the game there at the end. Um, so just those plays that we missed. You know, we were eight, 18 for 19. A couple of those were throw, ball thrown thrown away, but a couple of those could have been really big plays. Um, I mean, even our big plays, like the one to Keith, um, the ball made him slow down a step. Maybe maybe if I hit Keith in stride going down the, going down the field there, he didn't have to slow down. Um, he would have had even a bigger play, maybe a touchdown. And that was a series we got stopped on because of all of our penalties. Um, so just those little things where we could have done a better job offensively um, to not settle for field goals and being able to score in every series. It was um, it was kind of it was not a designed run, um, but I saw how they had been um, playing coverage all the way down the field, and I had just thrown it to Kyler. Um, I think either the play before or two plays before the ball had gone to Kyler, um, and so when that happens and you throw it to the running back, usually the linebackers will be more focused on the running back. And um, so when I saw the linebackers stop looking at me and they started trying to chase all of our routes, I saw a passing lane open or a run lane open, and um, I, I know that w with my size and strength, that I'm not going to get stopped going 10 yards. Um, so I knew that was going to be an easy touchdown for us to get. Thank you. Did you get back first catch, big, big play? How did it feel? Uh, I mean, it felt pretty good. Um, I wasn't 100% out there, but I was able to be effective and help my team out whenever they asked me to. So it's a good feeling. Yeah. What's the emotions, the atmosphere, the locker room? I mean, it's pretty self explanatory. Nobody really wants to say too much. So, I mean, I think, it, yeah, very quiet. I mean, I may, I'm ready to compete, bottom line. Um, I don't feel 100%, but that's not going to stop me from helping my team. It's my last year, senior year. I feel like there's a few people that look up to me on the team. I'm not going to let them down, regardless if I feel 60, 70, 80%. It doesn't matter. I'm ready to play. Um. They rolled the safety down. They went cover one with no help over the top. So basically, Nick just checked to a go, just tried to beat him with speed, which uh, he put a nice ball out there. I was able to connect with him for six points. We got to step up. I know a lot of people are pretty fond of our receivers, but it's not good enough at the end of the day. Obviously, we just took a, uh, took a hard loss. So we got to step up, and it starts with me. I feel like I'm probably the oldest in the group, more ex most experienced. So it starts with me. So I'm going to definitely step it up this week. And I already talked to them, and everybody's ready to step up. If you're not 100% now, what are the doctors telling you about things? Can't believe you be able to get up to 100%? 
Um, eventually, I'll be able to get it up to 100%. Technically, my bone's not going to be healed for like four or five months, and it's only been like a month and a half. So, I mean, I'm out there on a partially broken foot, but like I said, I'm ready to compete. I don't feel like anyone out there can stop me on the opposing team, whether I had a broke foot or a broke ankle, it doesn't matter. You just got to gotta do the right things in all aspects, whether that's in the classroom, study hall, on the field, in the weight room, in the film room. You just got to do the right thing. And if you're doing the right thing, you don't always have to vocalize it. So they'll see it and they'll follow eventually. So that's all I'm trying to do. I feel like I have a, a good amount of respect amongst my receiving core. So it's on me now. So I'm ready.